I just want you to know that I'm predicting that a storm is coming, and that storm is you, because you're about to blow through this test like a crazy tornado. All right, you farm fanatics. This is Daniel Harrington, here again to help you study. Today on our journey, we find ourselves east of El Paso. Today, I'd like to help you learn some of the therapeutics of heart failure, both chronic and acute. Specifically, the classes of medications and those individual medications. So sit back, relax, and try to passively learn something. And don't be surprised when you're successful upon completion of Monday's exam. Okay, first up, the ACE inhibitors. Those are drugs such as enalapril or lisinopril or ramipril. They all end in pril, right? So what I like to do is I say ACE is the place for the helpful hardware man. You can kind of say it like Snoop Dogg used to, like ACE is the pliz ACE. And that kind of sounds more like pril. Okay, they'll get better, I promise. Number two, let's talk about the ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers. Examples of those include Valsartan and Condesartan. But anyway, the ARBs have the Sartan ending, and because, because fast food is evil, my saying is that Sartan loves Arby's, kind of like Satan loves Arby's. But that helps me remember those endings. Third are the beta blockers, or the BBs, and those all end in LOL, like your carfadilol, or your extended release metoprolol. But anyway, I think of beta blockers as BBs, right? And because those uh, individual drugs end in LOL, you can kind of take that old AOL, you know, shorthand, instant messenger shorthand. So like the BBs, you can add a little R in there. The BRBs, LOL, right? Be right back, laugh out loud. Anyway, that's an easy one. Next up, we got the loop diuretics. And those all end in IDES, the Ides, right? Like furosemide or bumetamide or torsemide. Anyway, those loop diuretics, right? You got diarrhea when you, ha when you take those. And so what I like to do is I add a little L to the eyes. And my saying is when you're taking diuretics, you want to keep a lid on it, right? L-I-D-E. Because you don't want to poop your pants. You want to keep a lid on it. Get it? Next up, we have the aldosterone antagonists. Or I like to think of them as the AAs. They end in own, like spironolactone or epleranone. And another way of saying their ending, the own, is one, right? So, aldosterone antagonist, you can use that as a mnemonic, the AA, right? All alone, the only one, get it? AA, and then the ending is own. So, all alone, you're the only one. So, all those drugs ending in one or own go with AA or all alone. All right, now we're moving to digoxin. That's a cardiac glycoside. The way I remember it, or what it's used for, is dig it, sister, because it's used for uh, systolic heart failure, right? So for digoxin, you dig it, sister. Get it? All right, next we've got the hydralazine nitrates. And this one gets a little complicated, so just stick with me. All right, the class is hydralazine slash nitrate, right? And the specific drugs are bidil and hydralazine, okay? And the saying I have is nat, you know, like Natalie, but she's the nitrate. So it goes, nat, buy me a dill pickle. Then we'll hide it. Get it? All right, finally, we come to our calcium channel blockers, our CCBs. And those drugs are verapamil and diltiazem, right? 
So the saying I came up with is corn cob and bananas are very good with dill pickles. So the CCB, the calcium channel blocker, is the corn cob and bananas are very for verapamil good with dill or diltiazem pickles. Corn cob and bananas are very good with dill pickles. All right, hope that helps. All right, boys and girls, until next time. Well, I went walking in Memphis, walking with my feet, don't know the words.